Much of upstate New York is skeptical of downstate lawmakers, especially about gun control. There's the SAFE Act, of course, which is despised in many parts of the North Country. But there are also smaller pieces of legislation that come around that, to many hunters and other outdoors people up here, belie a misunderstanding of how rural gun culture even works. A bill about shooting ranges, and therefore also about high school trap shooting teams, is raising those hackles. That's today's Story of the Day. Support for Story of the Day comes from Claxton Hepburn Medical Center, dedicated to providing patient care and regional services to the people of St. Lawrence County. ClaxtonHepburn.org. Hey, I'm David Somerstein. It's Thursday, May 30th. First up, the White House says New York is becoming the first state to launch a new home energy rebate program under the Inflation Reduction Act. The Department of Energy says the program will allow more low- and middle-income families to make their homes energy efficient and save money on utility bills. It'll allow homeowners to get back up to $14,000 per unit for installing air sealing, insulation, ventilation, heat pumps, heat pump water heaters, and electric upgrades. Households can also receive $8,000 in additional rebates for taking measures to reduce energy use by at least 20 percent. According to the Biden administration, the national program, once implemented, will save consumers a billion dollars a year in energy costs. State police have released the identity of the woman found dead in the trunk of a rental car in Plattsburgh Tuesday afternoon. 57-year-old Lisa Dashnov, Plattsburgh, was identified yesterday evening following an autopsy. The cause of death was determined to be strangulation and was ruled a homicide. Police are asking those who live in the area around the intersection of Military Turnpike and State Route 3 to check their security cameras for any suspicious activity. Anyone with information is asked to call state police at 518-563-3761. Members of local hunting clubs have been raising concerns about a state Senate bill that proposes new rules for shooting ranges. They say it would cost too much to implement and could force some clubs to close. And that would affect an increasingly popular sport among North Country youth, trap shooting. With the current legislative session ending next week, the bill isn't likely to go anywhere. But as Lucy Grinden reports, it's given local trap shooting teams a scare. This is the last competition day of the regular season for the Potsdam trap shooting team. At the Norfolk Rod and Gun Club, the students take turns shooting at flying clay targets, painted neon orange. A machine launches them into the sky at almost 50 miles an hour. Most of the time, they shatter in midair. Looking good. Confidence. Tim Flint is the coach. He says the trap team has a lot of benefits for students. You learn firearm safety, you learn shooting skills, and there's a friendship that develops here. The sport's becoming more popular throughout the North Country. In St. Lawrence County, about half the school districts have teams. Today, Potsdam freshman Liam Hubbard shot a new personal best, 23 out of 25. I've never been very good at this. I've always shot 17s and 16s, so shooting a 23 was just really cool. Hubbard says being on the team has improved his aim, so he's able to make cleaner kills when he goes deer hunting, and the animals don't suffer as much. I feel really bad about myself if I make a bad shot and don't give it a quick death, because after all, I'm just trying to put meat in the freezer. So being able to practice 50 times uh, every Sunday, that really helps. The Potsdam team, and others like it, practice at local rod and gun clubs. But members of those clubs say the new bill in the state legislature would force some of them to close. Tim Flint, the Potsdam coach, says high school teams would have nowhere to go. It would be devastating to uh, some of these kids. They they just love coming here and shooting sporting clays or, or trap. 
The bill's called the Sporting Range Good Neighbor Act, and its purpose is to reduce the amount of lead from gun ammunition that gets into the environment. It was introduced by the head of the Senate Environmental Conservation Committee, Pete Harkham of the Hudson Valley. According to a local news site there, Halston Media News, residents met with Senator Harkham last fall to complain about a nearby gun club. They said lead ammo and clay targets had ended up on their property and that water and soil had tested positive for lead. Harkham's bill would try to prevent that kind of thing by setting a minimum size for skeet fields or else making them use backstops to catch ammo. It would also say they can't include any wetlands or open water sources. His spokesman declined to comment on the record. Jason Caller, president of the Norfolk Rod and Gun Club, said the bill's requirements could be too expensive to meet. He spoke at a St. Lawrence County Board of Legislators meeting in April. We run on a pretty thin budget in anything that can uh, affect us financially, um, sometimes can create a burden that we may or may not be able to overcome. Even though the bill stands almost no chance of passing this year, the discussion around it has reinforced the stereotype that downstate lawmakers don't get rural gun culture. Here's County Legislator Jim Reagan from Ogdensburg. This is just another example of uh, people downstate who don't understand our way of life, who are trying to impose another way to restrict and hamper Uh, the responsible use of firearms. The county legislators ended up passing a resolution against the bill. Legislator Ben Hull from Madrid said it was trying to snuff out gun culture, even though he said it could have environmental benefits. I see a lot of this as an attempt to extinguish a cultural heritage of responsible gun ownership and usage uh, for uh, maybe a valuable marginal benefit environmentally, but at what cost is the real question. Here's what legislator Glenn Webster from Norwood said. I'm going to call this what this really is. This is an attack on the Second Amendment. The legislature's resolution says the bill is a gun control measure disguised as an environmental one. Emily Shaw is the mother of one of the freshmen on the Potsdam trap team. She's in favor of tougher gun laws, but she also wants her son to be able to learn about gun safety. I think that gun control is hugely important. You can very much be supportive of teaching kids responsible firearm safety in outdoor cultures, such as in the North Country, and also be very much supportive of groups that are working to prevent gun violence and to ensure strict gun control measures, especially for automatic weapons. Shaw's not from the North Country originally. She and her husband didn't grow up hunting, but since they moved here, their son's gotten into it through his new friends. He loves to do it. He loves competing with his buddies and and he loves the the target shooting. But for us, the the safety aspect of it, the fact that he's going and and working with these experienced instructors week in and week out and getting tons of experience with them. um, That's one of the more valuable aspects of the trap team um, for us. Every student on a team has to pass an official hunter education course to participate. At the Norfolk Rod and Gun Club on competition day, Shaw's son Oscar said he does feel more secure handling a gun because he's been able to practice so much with the team. I definitely feel safer when I'm shooting with people I know and when I have this experience, uh, it prevents accidents back in the woods too. So it gets me better adjusted to my own gun so it doesn't happen. His buddy Liam Hubbard says he wouldn't want state regulations to take the activity away. It's fun for us. It's a way to enjoy our weekends. It's a lot better than sleeping until noon and playing video games. Um, I don't think I ever see a frown here. It's always fun. And even when somebody has a bad round, your teammates are there to pick you up. To him, it's just like any other sports team. Lucy Grinden, North Country Public Radio, Norfolk. We have more news all the time on our website, ncpr.org. Music today by Eddie Lawrence of Moira and the Saranac Project of Saranac Lake. I'm David Summerstein, North Country Public Radio.